Good morning, it's MJ, and this is a general reading for the collective for November 5th using the wise dog this morning. And I have to say, I love how this deck shuffles. It feels so good, it feels so solid. Um, the cards are flexible enough that they can actually shuffle nicely without being too flexible where they, you know, where they bend. So it's just, I'm digging this deck. <laughs> And the size, um, they're about the same size as the US Games version of the Crow Tarot. So they're bigger, which makes them feel very hefty when you hold them in your hand. So let's get started with the energy that we're working with today. This is that energy that is surrounding us. It's impacting our decisions. It's either you know helping us in some ways, if it's a, um, a positive energy. If you're feeling in a slump, you may be able to find out the reasons why here. So we start off with judgment. And this is a time of moving ahead, of, of taking ownership, of reading your own story and acknowledging areas where perhaps there have been missteps or perhaps areas that, um, you know, that you can't go back and change. You can't go back in time. And no matter how much you wish there was a time machine, there isn't one, at least not yet. And so all you can do at this point is move forward. So if you're living in the past, if you're if you're paying for the same mistake over and over again with somebody, you know, if they don't ever let you forget something, um, you know, it's time to say, acknowledge like, this is where I messed up but now I'm not that person and this is how I'm changing my life. And then commit to it because once you do, once you make that shift, once you recognize that you are not that person from the past, then you can move into the future. And it's a wonderful place to be. And this is like, there's a wholeness to judgment. You know, with this card, there's a little butterfly here for metamorphosis and the heart is true, it's passion that brings you to this place. You know, this is, and these are all the dogs, <laughs> like, um, these are, well, not all the dogs, but the dogs from the deck. And I just imagine, you know, these are, these puppies went through um, perhaps the shelter and they're not their past. You know, they're not the families that um, abandoned them. You know, they're not the reasons why perhaps they were brought to the shelter. They're who they are in this moment today, just like you are. And so this is where this beautiful pity who looks just like our Layla um, comes up and says, rise up because you're not the dog that was there before. You're not, you're no, you're no longer um, lost. You've been found. And so we're working with this energy of change today. So if you think about where you are in this world, are you ready to step forward? Are you ready to take um, the complete ownership that's required to move ahead and into a new life, into a new phase? Are you ready to say, you know, the, the beliefs I have that are holding me back are no longer um, helping me in this life? You know, they're holding me, you know, down. They're keeping me perhaps, you know, caged where I want to be free. So that's um, something to consider for where you are today. So the, the energy that's coming to us as a result of this energy, you know, because there, for every action, there's a reaction. And so if the action today is moving forward and taking complete ownership of your life, of reclaiming your life and, and moving ahead, it sparks something, it creates energy. And the energy that is coming to you is the Five of Cups. And so you may find that during this process of rebirth, you may focus too heavily on what's no longer there, on what's missing. You know, if you're moving out of a relationship and into a new life, if you're, you know, um, 
moving away from a belief that doesn't serve you, you may still feel a connection to it that's keeping your focus away from what you really need and, and what you have, something that will, will solidify this change, something that will um, move you into a better place. So the call with this card is to pay attention to your intuition because you may encounter a situation that is almost like a snapback, you know, where you, you, you're moving ahead, you're doing all this work, you're progressing, but then there's going to be something that's going to direct your attention in the wrong or, you know, yeah, direct your attention in the, in the wrong direction, <laughs> you know, it's going to, um, direct your attention, sorry, in the wrong direction. I, I, I get some coffee in this, this girl here. Um, so that's something to pay attention to. If you do have somebody who is coming along, who, um, wants to bring you back to a place that isn't serving you, question that, you know, are you, are, you know, are you being, um, pointed somewhere that isn't serving you? Are they trying to keep you from perhaps realizing your full potential over here? So let's see what advice the puppies bring. And we can unpack this a little bit more here and see how these, these dogs all play together. Oh, so we have the Ten of Cups. So it's all about emotion today, isn't it? Wow. How are you feeling? You know, it's like, it's all about that. So we have, again, we have um, this butterfly here. We have the butterflies here in this card, which is about transformation and metamorphosis and, and becoming that person who you're destined to become, right? This is about your purpose. It's about, um, you know, starting this life perhaps as something and then discovering that that's not who you're meant to be, right? And then making the, the effort and, or taking, you know, the effort and uh, the action steps to, to create that change, just like a butterfly, right? It may start off as a caterpillar, but it, it makes itself um, a cocoon and then it transforms. It's, there's actual steps along the way. The process begins with the very first step. And so that is what we have here with judgment. This process is beginning and you're starting to recognize that you are not just, you know, um, one thing. You're, you're a collection of ideas. You're a collection of beliefs. You're a collection of, um, of emotions. And it is time to take all of those and create something out of that is beautiful from them. So here, again, with this five of cups coming in as an external influence, you may find that, you know, there is something or someone that perhaps would benefit from you not moving into this new place, who would benefit from you staying put. Maybe you scare them, you know, um, if they're not ready for change and you are, they may be trying to show you, you know, uh, something that really isn't there. They may be trying to, to keep you in this, this place where you're, where you're longing. But really, if you redirect your attention to all the good things you have going on, you'll see where you you have this wonderful potential. And so the little bird up here is your intuition. And it's trying to get your attention to say, hey, turn around. Because whatever this is, it's no longer serving you. And then we have the 10 of cups. And this is about community and about forgiving those who, um, you know, may not share your views exactly. This is about bringing ideas and other people together underneath a single umbrella. 
um, in, the, in this case it's the, the cups, where you all work harmoniously towards a greater goal. So with the Ten of Cups here as the um, advice card, the advice here is to recognize that other people may have their own way of doing things. They may have their own um, beliefs and their beliefs are not there to threaten yours. You can all share space. This is where that change comes. This is where you grow and you become a better version of yourself one that is content in this world, who um, experiences pure bliss through that transformation. And in doing that, you don't need to change other people either. They're, they're who they are and their journey is theirs to, to, to walk. It's not your job to, um, you know, to make sure that they, they follow their path. It's your job to make sure that you follow your path. This is where you're very grounded here as well. You become even more secure in who you are. But again, it starts off with today. And it starts off with this ability to recognize that you're not your past, you're not your mistakes, you're not your parents name, you're not, um, you know, the color of your hair or your eyes or your skin. You are a beautiful spiritual being here. And you have all the potential in the world, but you need to be able to see it. You need to be able to not let other people who are frightened distract you. Because that's where you, you don't focus on the right stuff here. Know that you have this place waiting for you, that you are, you are um, deserving of love and belonging just as everyone else is. And when you are confident enough in yourself and you've risen up and you are so self-aware and self-assured, you know, then you don't need to worry about what other people think or do or believe because they don't impact you. You know, all you can focus on at this point is making sure that you're operating from your best self. And if, you know, every day you make a little change and you do something that you know just reinforces operating from your best self you know if that means extending kindness to somebody who perhaps has been less kind to you um if you you know if it's just being kind to yourself more you know maybe dialing in the self-talk a little bit um that's where change happens so anyway i love i love the puppies that came through today so again, we have judgment. That's the energy that we're working with. We have Jolly Roger, the one-eyed terrier, um, with the five of cups. This is one of my, I, I love this puppy so much. I had such a great deal of fun with this one. And Luna, oh, the golden um, lab, or the yellow lab, which, my my um my first love dog was a was a yellow lab and just they're such beautiful magical creatures and then Luna's sitting here and see how calm you know, her face is it's very peaceful so self so like just self assured you know it's like there's no need to to pick on anybody here because she's so happy with life. So I hope this reading makes sense. Much love, peace, and bye for now.